What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. This is episode 3 now on the series. In the last episode we were taking a look at the HGTV DLC stuff and we're going to continue to do that today. But first, I need to take a look at these trees. So, somewhere in between when I stopped playing House Flipper and the DLC release, they finally added the ability to remove these trees. So I kept these trees here because we couldn't chop them down. So first things first, I'm gonna chop these suckers down. It looks like we can just use our ax and get rid of them. There we go. All right, dude, nothing to it. Wait, can we crouch? It's so funny, it's been honestly so long since I played House Flipper. I actually have to relearn how to play this thing. And then that should just sort of, yeah, disappear through the ground looking good. And then we'll uh, we'll come through and remove the stump after the fact. But I'm going to get rid of this one next to it as well. And now we're just left with these stumps. So I'm going to press E and remove those. I think I'm going to get a roll of sod and just roll out some sod over top of this really quick. Let's get some of these deck panels that we used and, and finish this job up here. We might even be able to bring it over this way a little bit more. Is that better? Okay, perfect. There we go. And then we could also get some of these pavers, some of these rocks. It's definitely not perfect, but I think that should do the trick. It looks a lot better than it did, and now those trees are gone, so we can actually utilize this whole area here. So, now that that's finished up, I know that probably took way longer than it needed to. Let's head on into our gaming office room thing, and we'll get on the laptop and we'll see what we're going to be able to do today. So, in the last episode, we did... Ed's house, right? Yeah, that's right. Man's job. Now today, we have the option of doing only one half or 100-year-old memories. I think we're going to start with 100-year-old memories just because that was one of the other options from the previous episode. So we're already sort of familiar with it, even though we didn't really check it out. We have a budget of $3,000. We have two choices to make, and there are 11 rooms. This is a big house. I can tell just from this little image here, it's got to be a two-story house and uh, the yard looks massive. Everything about it is huge. All right, let's read this description. It says, this house is over 100 years old and the ubiquitous wood gives it a unique appeal. It would be great for Trevor and Lily and their kids, a family of sailors. Oh, very cool. The family fell in love with the house at first sight. It was not cheap, so the budget for this renovation is limited. It should be just enough to have it refreshed and to introduce some necessary changes. Good luck good luck indeed it sounds like it's kind of beat up it sounds like we're going to be doing some serious work to this place it is a two-story just like we uh, originally thought here of course we have carrie and gary <laughs> joining us today i love those names for them i think on the past notes that we've seen it was like greta or something so maybe that's her name and then this one says oliver so maybe his name is oliver i still like carrie and gary so we're gonna stick with that Okay, so on the outside of the house, it looks like all they really want us to do is clean the dirt, which should be pretty easy for us. Oh, wait. The siding's just dirty? Are you serious, dude? I figured we were going to have to reside this whole place. All we have to do is just give her a little rub down, quick little wipe action, and she'll be brand new. So we're going to make our way around the perimeter of this place and just... Clean up everywhere that looks like it needs cleaned up. Oh, here we go, too. They already put up a scaffolding for us. Oh, what? We gotta clean the roof, dude. Nice. I do think something that would be a nice addition to this game. Obviously, they are still doing DLC. But something that would be really cool, I think, really unique, would be to re-shingle the roofs. I think that would be so dang cool. God, dude, this these windows up here are giving me some real Thief Simulator vibes. I honestly almost tried to go through the window. Like, no joke. That is so cool. So we have a pretty big spot of dirt up there on the peak of this roof. So I'm going to run around to this side where we saw that scaffolding. I wonder if I can move... Yes, I can. The scaffolding over there. We're probably going to move really, really slow. Of course. That's kind of the way it normally goes, but that's okay. We'll get this thing turned around. It should be plenty tall for us to get up there and uh, and clean that last little peak of the roof. Set it down right there. We'll climb on up. Get out our mop one more time. Looking good, dude. Looking good. Yeah, dude, already this place looks so much better. This front door looks like a 
freaking spider, dude. That's super ugly. Super ugly. Does not match the rest of the house. Okay, I'm kind of nervous to see the inside here. It doesn't look terrible. I do really like those wooden beams up at the top. The sort of rafters up there. That's looking good. For a hundred year old house, I mean, it's just dirty. It looks like it was pretty well taken care of. And honestly, it's not like out of style at all. Everything is, uh, is pretty up to date. Everything seems like it's up to code. Shiplap is very much in right now. And this whole room is all white painted shiplap. We'll turn on the fireplace. Maybe a fuse is blown. Oh, okay, so it's gas. Not a wood burning fireplace, noted. Moving on into the kitchen. We got a little bit of floor to clean up. Everything else looks pretty tip top. That's gonna be our first decision here. These cabinets even look pretty nice, dude. They just need cleaned up a bit. There is a pantry in here somewhere. Back over in this corner. Oh yeah, wait, maybe. Closet, a safe. Forgotten safe in the closet, dude. This is so cool. I love these little additions that they're doing here. This must be the forgotten safe of the captain that lived here a hundred years ago. After selling the precious notes and jewelry found inside, jewelry, <laughs> jewelry found inside, the budget significantly increased. This allows us to plan something more for both the kitchen and the bathroom. Well, I'm glad we found this before we actually made a decision. That's probably a good thing. We'll go ahead and close that. So our budget has increased 3,500 bucks now. So we're up to a $6,500 budget. Very, very cool. Let's clean up whatever dirt is in here. Okay, so off the back of the kitchen, we have this sort of mudroom area. We got the fuse panel over here, of course. All right, let's open this fuse panel up and we'll see what we're working with. Looks like this fuse up here is blown. Put a new one in there, trip the breaker. Perfect, all right. Let's go check on that fireplace now. Nice, dude. Okay, so we got our fireplace working. That's good. I'm assuming that was on the list. I haven't even looked at the list yet. I'm just going around making sure everything is nice and clean. This is one of those new showers. Looking pretty solid. So where to start? That is the question. I guess we should probably go check the upstairs as well. Make sure everything's cleaned in here. Clean off the bed sheets, the desk. We got a, a little bathroom in here. It's a full bath. And we have another little kid's room up here. Dude, these rafters are so good looking. Seriously, I love that. I love that so much. Upstairs now complete as well. I'm gonna close this front door so we stop hitting ourselves on it. Okay, we're gonna start off in the kitchen and first make a decision. We then have to lay the floor tiles, various matte porcelain tiles. Okay, various matte porcelain tiles. We'll grab these. Get these put inside the kitchen from corner to corner. That looks good there. I think we might have accidentally tiled the closet, but that's okay. Perfect. Okay, that's looking better already. Now let's make... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't be leaving that on. Can't be leaving that on. Crazy, dude. What changes shall we introduce in the kitchen? Let's remove the fluorescent lights and the mirror from above the sink. Instead, we can lay elegant wall tiles and mount a new mirror by the fridge. This will automatically enlarge the interior. I don't know why you would have a mirror in your kitchen, but okay. Gary says, this mirror fits and looks like a window. Let's keep it. We will buy a few more lamps to keep the place brighter. I think I'm gonna side with Gary on this one. I don't really, it does kind of resemble a window. All right, so hanging a long bulb. Let's see what that is looking like. Oh, some of these. And we'll do one here and one here. That looks pretty good. Just over this little uh, peninsula thing in the kitchen. That looks pretty nice. Let's put these, I guess, in the, in the back of the kitchen. That looks pretty good. It's definitely brighter in here. I can appreciate that. So that is the kitchen done. It's really that simple. It's a nice looking kitchen. Dining room doesn't need anything done to it. This room, however... Definitely does. First, we have the dark mahogany floor panel is what they want to do in here. That is an excellent choice. Finally, someone who knows their floor tiles. This thing is a nice choice for sure. Now that is done. I don't really love how these floors don't match. So I think I'm just going to make an executive decision and change this room to match the living room as well. 
Hopefully we can stay within budget. I'm sure we'll be okay. But that looks much, much better now. It flows a lot nicer. And then we should probably adjust the flooring in the storage room as well. Let's grab a couple more floor tiles and we will go from corner to corner in here. That's only 31 bucks for an additional, what? Couple square feet of flooring. Then they want the Melissa light colored left corner sofa. So I don't know. I don't know how they're planning on, on laying out this room. It doesn't look like they want a TV in here, which is actually kind of nice. Let's do this couch first. What color scheme should we do here? Coffee colored couch with a gray sort of base to it. I think that'll look okay in here. Right up in between those two windows, just like that. Is that gonna work though? It's not bad, it's not bad. I definitely don't wanna block these windows. They're very, very pretty. I love the, the almost floor to ceiling windows there. That's, that's looking nice. And then we need a coffee table. Let's do a, let's do a black coffee table. Put you down right there. And then two jucca, that's the plants, right? There we go, okay. We'll do two of you, I think we'll do one over here, over here next to the fireplace. This one I'm gonna put down right in between these two rooms right there. All right, dude, that's looking nice. That's looking really nice. And we have like a little skylight up there. I don't even notice that. All right, coming up to here, I forgot to turn these lights on as well. God, that is so cool, dude. That is so cool. Is that the living room done? It is. All right, let's move on back to the master bedroom here. First, we have to remove the double bed Hermes. We will get rid of you. It's looking pretty old, pretty rickety. Yeah, we definitely did tile inside the closet, so I'm gonna have to adjust that. Let's maybe do the same floor panels in here as well, unless it wants us to do something else. So we're gonna do the dark mahogany floor panel inside of the bedroom as well, and we will adjust the closet accordingly. There we go, looking better. And bathroom. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait on that because they might want us to change the, change the floor. So now I'm gonna get out two buckets of paint, paint this room a silver, and I'll see you guys here in a sec. All right, last little strip above the window and we are done, dude. I wasn't really sure about the silver at first. I figured it was gonna look kind of boring, but it actually looks kind of nice, especially with the, uh, the new wood floor that we put in. Again, executive decision. Hopefully they don't complain about that. They're considering this just a corridor at the moment, so we need to get a bed in here. They want the double bed mal, mall. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to put this right up next to the bathroom. I don't know if it's gonna really let me do it. Oh, hang on. Right there, is that looking good? It's up against the wall anyways. I think that'll work. That will really help the flow of this room. That way when you walk in, you're not just immediately presented with a bed that you have to then walk around. It's sort of more gradual now, whereas it was facing more this way before, like right up against this closet. I think that'll work a little bit better for them. They need a bedside table Hermes. Normally you'd put it next to the bed, right? But since we did this new configuration, I'm gonna put it right over here in between these two doors. Hmm, what color to do? Let's do a white one as well. We'll leave the handle. Actually, let's do a black handle on that. Rotate it around really quick and we'll put it down right there. Now they want a lamp on top of that, of course. Perfect. We can go ahead and turn that on as well. This is already looking a thousand times better. Ew, hang on. I didn't notice that this was gold. Oh, we can't change it. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts, dude. That is so ugly. So, so ugly. Gold light fixtures, gold anything, gold faucets, gold shower heads, anything like that is disgusting, dude. It is totally like 80s for sure. Rectangular carpet dandelions. That's a new one. I don't think we've seen this before. Let's, uh, let's stick with the same theme we're sort of doing with the lamp and the end table. And we'll just do a nice black and white. Rotate it around maybe long ways and put it under the corner of the bed or maybe on the side. There we go. Yeah, that'll look nice. Right on the side of the bed, sort of in this corner like that. Does that work? I think that looks pretty nice. That way you you don't immediately have your feet touch the hardwood floor that's presumably cold. This way you have a nice little rug. And lastly, they want a picture sunset by the sea. I'm gonna put that right on this wall just there. That should be perfect. Okay, and that does it for the bedroom. Let's finally move on into the master bath and we'll see what sort of decision making we can do here. 
All right, what would be the best use of our extra budget here? A cupboard, shelf, and new tiles will be enough. We will utilize the extra budget elsewhere. Where else would you utilize it? Let's go, <laughs> Gary, Gary is my man. Let's go crazy in the bathroom and add a second sink. It is a master bathroom. And if there are two people in the master, I'm assuming they're not gonna wanna share a sink. We're gonna do a modern shower and a toilet. Let's not stop there and also install new cupboards and tiles, dude. Gary, my man, I think we're gonna side with you again on this one. All right, so we have to remove this old toilet over here in the corner, as well as this shower over here. And we have to lay 15 mosaic wall tiles. I think we're probably gonna do that on this wall. Let's see, what color, are we painting this room as well? I'd kind of like to paint this room. So I think for these tiles, we should do full tiles. Oh man, I don't know. Let's let's maybe mount the new shower and the toilet first. That way I know whether or not I want to do a full wall of tiles or just a half wall. Here we go, we have the mountable toilet flatty. I remember calling this the mountable toilet fatty for whatever reason. Maybe I just didn't ever see the L, but it's definitely not called a toilet fatty. <laughs> We're gonna keep it just nice and, and simple. Do a white toilet over here. Maybe not. I know the plumbing's there, but it doesn't really matter. Let's do the shower first so we can see how much space we're actually gonna have. Plop it down right over here. Ooh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Let's see if I still got it. Do the walls and the doors. These are cool doors. Perfect, done deal, I guess. All right, now we can mount up our toilet. I just wanted it to be as center in this corner as we can possibly get right there's looking good get her all bolted down to the floor man and get that toilet seat on looking solid all right so now i know that i want to do full wall tiles just behind the shower we'll get out our tiling and paneling tool uh-oh yeah i forgot this happens this is uh this is gonna be difficult and this thing doesn't open either okay okay let me see if i can just barely get it in the corner over here and last one. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer, dude. A lot nicer. I think there's also a like step ladder that we could do, but I think I can manage. I think I can manage just like this. Last one on this side. Okay, and there we go. We have a nice little tiled shower area looking pretty nice. And I'm going to sell the rest of the full tiles and we'll do half tiles in the rest of this space. I still have the old tiles in my hand, so we have to actually place those and then do these over top. Whoops. I did not realize it was like that. But this is what I'm talking about with the half tile. See how it's only half the wall? And then the rest of the wall is just regular old painted white up above it. All right. That looks amazing, dude. I really, really like that. And then these other walls, I think we're gonna do, I think we're gonna get rid of the shiplap and maybe we'll just paint them white. We can sell those tiles, we're done using them. Then we need another sink plumbing system, so we'll grab one of you really quick. Get you mounted up on the wall. It doesn't matter where we put it, but we do still have to unscrew it. And now we can mount up our sink. We want it to be the same as what's already here. I'm thinking we do some gray wood. I feel like that's gonna look kind of nice. Oh, we can't, no, we can't get rid of that one. Oh, dang it. Okay, then we can't do gray wood. We have to actually match exactly what's there so i think this will be close hopefully they're really gonna make us assemble this whole thing before we get to figure out if it matches or not and i've sprung a leak of course all right get all the plumbing fixtures in there okay good they do match okay sigh of relief right there boys now we just have to do porcelain tiles for the floor Ooh, those are interesting a very interesting choice. I'm not sure I agree with the design decision there, but it does kind of match the rug. I don't know, man. It's kind of tacky if you ask me, but it's fine. Then we have an old fashioned mirror, two of those. The one in the center of this sink right there. The other one here, and we can turn both of those lights on. Wow. All right, that actually looks nice. And then old fashioned cupboard. Grab one of you. We're gonna do the same wood, I think. We can probably put you over in this corner, just behind the door. Let's put it over up next to the sink. There we go. I like that. And then an old-fashioned hanging shelf. Top it all off. I'll put it right above the toilet. How about that? There we go. 
Oh, the job is now 100% complete. Very cool. I don't like the shiplap in here, though, so I'm... I gotta paint it, boys. I gotta paint it. And we are going to paint the rest of the shiplap. Now, normally, if you were to paint shiplap, you would just paint the wood. It doesn't actually get rid of the texture, but that's just how this game works. So you guys will sort of have to use your imagination, all right? And that we're, we're drywalling over top of the shiplap here. And last little section, perfect. Okay, sell that. That looks so much nicer. So much nicer. Okay, bathroom, okay. <laughs> bathroom complete. And I think the entire job now is complete. Oh man, we really knocked this one out of the park, dude. Every single room looks so dank. Why are you on again? Someone is trying to burn down this freaking house, dude. Holy crap. Okay, let's just not go into that room again, and then it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't happen anymore. I gotta make sure all these lights are on too, because when we do the before and after, it doesn't actually turn the lights on for you. You have to do it manually beforehand. Turn you on as well. All right, let's head on outside, and we will complete the job. I don't remember the homeowners. I don't remember the homeowners' names, but hopefully they are satisfied with this. We stayed under budget, unsurprisingly, because we found all that money in the safe. But let's go ahead and complete it, and we'll see how much we're going to get out of this thing. $6,300. Are you sure you want to complete it? Yes, I am. All right, and here we go. We have the before and after. That's the master bedroom looking much better. Here's the master bath. Dude, oh my god. And then the living room is insane. That looks so much better. Look at that. I'm not crazy about the couch placement, I will admit. Storage room cleaned up pretty easily. And the outside of the house looks amazing. We probably could have mowed for them as well, but they can just hire someone else to do that. We don't got the time. Okay, and I think that unlocked that house for purchase for us as well. Let's check our browser and we'll see if we got another one. Okay, that's the first one we did, the stilt house. And then we did Ed Boy's house as well. And that should be right here. Okay, the accountant's house. And then we have the century old house. That's the one that we just did. So those are available for purchase now as well. I think I'm going to wind down this episode here and we will continue on in tomorrow's episode with the HGTV DLC stuff. If you guys are enjoying this series, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. But with that, I am going to wind things down here. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, to help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.